It's a sad day. Brooklyn Nets forward Ben Simmons was recently diagnosed with a nerve impigment in his back. That injury will keep him out indefinitely as we reported the other day. But Nets coach Jacquan is being realistic about Ben Simmons' timeline to return. Quote, for me as a coach, there's some things that I can control, some things I can't control. What I can't control is the impigment. What I can control is getting this group ready to play. And then in all honesty, the realism that he's probably not going to join us for the rest of the year. Certainty will come once he continues to be looked at by specialists. End quote, Jacques Vaughn said on Ben Simmons. After missing all of last season due to a holdout with the Sixers and a subsequent back injury. Ben Simmons appeared in 42 games for the Nets this season. He averaged career lows across the board with 6.9 points, 6.3 rebounds, and 6.1 assists. And I've said this repeatedly. Ben Simmons is suffering from a major, major injury to his back. We have seen it with, you know, Dwight Howard, where he played like a game, two games with the Wizards. And then he finally had his back corrected, goes on and plays four more seasons with the Lakers and Sixers and wins a championship. We saw it with Brooke Lopez last year. He missed all of last year, played one game, comes back this year. Looks like the best version of himself, averaging like 16 points, shooting like 40% from three, like three blocks a game. That's how bad back injuries are. If you don't get them fixed, you don't look like yourself. Another example I talked about in the video the other day was Damian Lillard had a core injury and he said he just couldn't move. Like he literally just couldn't move. He couldn't do his cuts, he couldn't do his shit that he normally did. And for him, it just didn't feel right so i think this just goes to show that this this is an example of you need to be healthy so ben simmons the guy won rookie of the year in his first season three-time all-star but in recent years his game arguably has plateaued his shooting struggles have caused you know concern let's talk about ben simmons and we all know his shooting is something that been criticized for his reluctance to shoot the ball outside of the paint which makes him easier for the defenders to guard but for him to be an all-star again i don't think his shooting needs to improve but he just needs to become a more well-rounded offensive player though you know just working on post moves just how to attack the basket maybe even getting with a shooting coach to refine his technique and build his confidence another way that he can bounce back is developing go-to move on offense right now simmons is a primary playmaker who relies on his passing ability and athleticism to create opportunities for himself and teammates Start working on some give and goes. All right. You know, develop a signature move such as a post up game, a mid range jumper to become more versatile offensive threat. And he's not even a great three for free throw shooter. So, you know, maybe he can become a guy who can, you know, work on his free throw shooting and just start drawing, drawing fouls. And again, obviously, the biggest thing for him is he needs to work on his mental game. I love him. I love him. He's been criticized for his lack of confidence and playing with a passive attitude. And this can be detrimental, but. Maybe working with a sports psychologist, stay focused, motivated, and become a constant player. Because he has the talent and potential to become an all-star again. Yes, he needs to improve his shooting, develop a go-to move, become a better free throw shooter, and work on the mental game. But all these things are small things. And if he comes back, I mean, he can be the best version of himself. Or at least we hope that he can. It's just unfortunate that this is what's happening. And I don't think anybody would want this, even on their, their enemy. It's just an unfortunate series of events that I just, I feel bad. I feel bad because this isn't normal, man. And as you watch the NBA more and more, you understand that certain injuries are going to affect players in a way that other injuries won't. And it's, it's an unfortunate part of sports, but that's what, you know, it's an 82 game season. It's a marathon. It's not an easy stretch. So that's definitely where I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. What do you guys think and what are your opinions? Okay. And I don't know. I think basically we're, at, we're on the way to 20,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to help support the channel, hit that like and subscribe button. And yeah, I think that's where we're going to leave it. I'm like pretty, pretty bored right now. Not like bored, but I'm like, my life is so busy. <laughs> All right, guys. I love you. Have a great day. Till next time, guys.
That's it, yeah. Bye. I love you.